into the world where your greatest fears become reality. Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. I'm in hell right now. If the contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants. Three stunts. One winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. Welcome to a special all-ladies edition of Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They're extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. gave me a lot of training and I know I have what it takes to beat everyone here. I will climb the highest mountain. I will fall from the highest mountain. Our family really needs this money and I'm going to do what it takes. Whatever it takes. I am very competitive. I mean, like in everyday life. When I walk into a store and then someone's walking next to me, I try to get to the door before they do. <laughs> I do it automatically. It's in my brain. I'm going to do pretty well in this competition. If people think I'm just a pageant girl, they don't know me at all. I have what it takes to win $50,000 in Fear Factor because I am athletic. I'm little, so I've got the speed and mobility, and I won't give up. I'm coming into this competition on Fear Factor as a 37-year-old woman, and I feel age has no difference. It doesn't matter. If anything, I have more experience, and uh, personally, I don't think I look anything different than they do. When people first see me, and they see the blonde hair, they think I'm a bimbo. But I don't really care what they think of me because I'm here, you know, for a competition and we'll see what really goes down on game day. I think that they will look at me and say, oh, she's just a skinny little girl. She's a model, like, all she does is just sit in front of a camera, and how hard is that? But anyone that knows me would say that I'm small, but I pack a punch. And I plan to prove that punch here on Fear Factor. What's up? How you doing? Good, how Welcome are you? Welcome aboard. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Good, good, good. good, good. Well, look at this, all-girl Fear Factor. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to rock this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ready to see your first stunt? Yeah. yeah! Here it is! One at a time, you will each be placed into that rotating cylinder and submerged underwater. Once submerged, you will have to unlatch the tent latches, free yourself, and swim over to that buoy to stop the clock. The four of you that do this the fastest will move on to the next round. The other two will be eliminated. We have randomly selected today's order, and Tina, yeah. you are lucky number one. Yeah. Let's go. Ready? I'm ready. Come with me, dear. Let's go. Come on, set the mark. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye.
right, Tina. You're lucky number one. How you feeling? I feel great. Do you? Yeah. You feel great? Really good. Now, you're 37 years old. I am. You're one of the oldest people we've had on the show, <laughs> if not the oldest person. But you're in excellent shape. Woo! How do you, how do you feel about competing against all these younger chicks? I feel great. Completely confident. Age doesn't matter. Right? You worried about water? No, I'm not. Are you I'm actually, Yeah, a lifeguard. Really? Lifeguard? I Hello. was. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, is this anyone else's biggest fear, being underwater? Yes. Okay. And I thought about that Good. when I was auditioning. So what do you think about the rest of the girls here? Um, there's a couple that look a little feisty, a little competitive. Um, and there's a couple that look a little scared. A couple look scared? Who looks scared? Oh, I think Jocelyn's not so sure. Really? I'm not sure, but yeah. I don't know, you guys. I think she looks a little scared. You think she looks scared? Yeah. All right, ladies, what do you think about Tina? I'll beat her. So you're not worried about her? No, I'm not worried So about why do you her. think she thinks you look nervous? You're the one she singled out. Well, maybe because... Wishful thinking? Maybe yeah. because she wishes she had a couple curves, and you do, yeah. huh? How about that, huh? Yeah. Okay, she has to release the ten latches, open the hatch, and swim to the buoy to stop the clock. The two slowest times are eliminated, and whoever completes the stunt the fastest will pick tomorrow's order. Set the bar high! Here we go! Three, two, She got the first five. She got the second five. She's having trouble with the hatch. She's double checking the latch. She's quitting. The moment I realized I was losing my breath, I knew I had to end. I couldn't continue. It's your lungs. It's a feeling of constriction, and it, you can't move, you can't do anything, and you kind of just feel like you're completely immobile, like, where do you go, what do I do? I had no breath. I wasn't even losing it, it was gone. You were only under there for 30 seconds. You couldn't hold your breath any longer than that. You're like a big lifeguard. I'd hate to be drowning. You can only hold your you know, breath for 30 you, seconds. No. Wouldn't that be horrible? All right. Well, it was very nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you guys. It Take was it fun. Easy. It was a great experience. All right. Good luck, Bye, guys. Bye-bye. 50,000 out the door. The walk of shame is no fun. <laughs> you walk away and you realize it's over. And all that plays through your head is everything you could have done differently or you would have done differently. So what about you, Laura? What's your deal? Um, I'm, I'm excited to get in the water. I want to go in right now. I wish I was first. Really? Why is that? Yeah. I used to be a swimmer. I was the secret weapon on my swim team in high school. So. You're the secret weapon? <laughs> yeah. They like, threw you in when the chips were down? Yeah, basically. Send Laura like in the water. Great. Oh, no! Yeah. Not the secret weapon! Yeah. Is America ready? Yeah, America's ready. Are you ready? ready? Yeah. Come with me, I'm weapon. I'm revealing my status as a Let's secret go. weapon. Let's go. Let's do this, kid. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't think so. Here goes another one. No. Yeah, she's too young. She's the youngest yeah. one. She's a little too cocky. Too cocky. Too I little. Think she's too. Just like, yeah. All right, Laura, you are number two. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I'm very excited. I just want to go in there, get it over with. There's only room for four more, and really, I'm just going to be patient. I'm just going to be calm, get the door open, get out. There's only has to be one more person that leaves, and it's not going to be me. I'm going on to the next round. You ready to do this? Yeah. Good luck. Thank you.
counting on you. America needs you. All right, starting the rotation. Here we go. Don't you quit. For yourself? Yes. Yeah? It's because you're a weapon. I was weapon. just really, really concentrating, like, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it, and I forgot that I was even underwater. All right, who's next? Me. All right, 38.54 seconds. That's time to let's beat. Let's do it. You ready, Mackenzie? Right, yeah. Come on, let's go. So how do you guys think Mackenzie's going to do? Yeah. I think she's going down. So uh, if you win, what are you going to do with the money? The main thing would be to finish off my schooling. Oh, yeah? Schooling. What do you go to school for? Dental hygiene. So you tried the gas? Yes, I've tried the gas. Really? How does it treat It's you? just like you've had a few glasses of wine. Totally yeah. relaxes you. You just don't really care what's going on. And then you wake up with your pants down, right? <laughs> no. That's what always happens with me. No. <laughs> That's not good? Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. You ready, Mackenzie? Yes, I'm ready. Give me a prediction. How fast are you going to do it? I'll say 30 seconds. 30 seconds? She's a savage. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. All right. I'm positive that I'm going to kick some ass in this stunt right now and not go home today. Do you guys think Mackenzie's going home? Yeah. She said she's going to do it in 30 seconds. I think she's on drugs. 30 seconds, that's pretty difficult. Yeah, pretty fast, right? Are you ready, Mackenzie? Hell yeah! Hell yeah, okay. All right, Mackenzie, time to beat is 38.54 seconds. Here we go in three, two, one, go! Mackenzie. Yes. What happened? I took a breath while I was underwater. I accidentally breathed in. Why would you in. do that? Did you I think you were I a fish? I didn't even realize I was doing it. And then I just was like, I didn't have any breath. Ladies, learn from her mistake. She did awesome. I'm very proud of you for doing this. All right, Mackenzie. Well, it was nice meeting you, but it's that's nice it. nice meeting you. Take Thank it you. easy. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. With this $50,000 I could have won, I could have put myself through hygiene school, um, and now I'm having to walk away with nothing. All right, 
right. Well, Laura, you are in automatically, so congratulations. Oh, Whoa. Oh, okay. Very, very hard. Now, you ladies, all you have to do is complete it. All you have to do is get through the stunt. However, whoever gets the best time today gets to pick tomorrow's order. Mm. So you got to beat 38.54 seconds. Okay. The weapon time. Right. All right, Jocelyn, this is it. Look at Laura. Tell her you're going to get a better time than I'm going to beat you, Laura. Oh, we'll my goodness. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Come on. All right. All right, Jocelyn, you want to win money so you can buy a car. Yes. Because you and your husband share a car? Let's yes. Tell me about that. Well, we need a second car. He's going to school. We both work full time, and um, it's kind of hard with just one car and a daughter. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That's what I'm talking about. Good luck. All right, thank you. I don't know. I think now that she talks so much, she's like, oh, no, now I have to live up to what I talked about. All she has to do is just do it. She just yeah, can't She kind of makes me think she will. I think she will. I'm going to beat those girls. I'm going to get that 50000 Yeah. All right, they're starting it up. The cylinder will now start to spin. We'll see if Jocelyn can walk the walk, because we know she can talk the talk. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm sure about walking on that, huh? Here we go! In three, two, one, go! She's hitting the latches. Looks like she missed one. She's struggling. the stunt, but if she wants to pick tomorrow's order, she's got to hustle. Okay, now uh, you've had a chance to see four girls do this stunt, yeah. two girls successfully. How fast do you think you're going to be able to pull this off? At first I was thinking 36, and then Jocelyn beat her time, Laura's time, so got to do better than Jocelyn's time. Two people have quit, and you're not going to quit, right, no, Jennifer? I'm not quitting. Come on, not you ready to do this? I'm not quitting. Good luck. Thanks. One of my biggest fears is being trapped underwater, so this stunt's pretty freaky for me. I had watched the other girls, a couple of them fail before me, so I was really nervous. I'm gonna stay focused, I'm just gonna do it, and I'm gonna hit each latch hard and make sure it's open. Kimberly, it's all up to you. This is it. This is it. Now, you're used to competing against other women, you know, being as your Miss Idaho, mm -hmm. and you competing in Miss USA. Yes. And you're competing against all women today. Are you comfortable with that? I am. I hardly ever compete underwater, but today is a good day to start. Are you ready, Kimberly? I am ready. Good luck. All right, thanks. Go! 
quite fast enough to beat Jennifer's time, but good fast enough to enough. allow you to move on to the next fast round enough. and bring you that much closer to the cash. Yeah. Good job to all of you. Congratulations. Now let's get the hell out of here and see what tomorrow has in store for you ladies. Come with me. All right. to do something really nasty and gross, but I'm ready for it. I'm kind of scared and nervous, but at the same time, I'm ready. I don't look at the other girls as my competition. I look at myself as my own competition. I've just got to get my head in the game and do it. I think today could be one of the worst experiences of my life, actually. I think it, it has definitely has the possibility to freak me out. I'm ready to face my fears today. That's what this show is all about. These three ladies might be a little bit competitive, but they've never faced Weichel the Weapon. Weichel the Weapon will not go home tonight. Hello. Hi. What's up? Nothing, we're just getting ready. Curious. Welcome to the morgue. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Great. Good. Well, congratulations to you all for making it through the first stunt of Ladies Fear Factor. Congratulations to you, Jennifer, for having the best time. Thank you. And by doing so, you're going to get to pick today's order. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here is your next stunt. figure out which of the three keys unlocks the lock, free your hands, unzip the bag, and push yourself out of this drawer. The three of you will complete this stunt the fastest will move on to the next round. The person who does it the slowest will be eliminated. The person who does it the fastest will get to pick tomorrow's order. Now Jennifer got to pick today's order and Laura, since you are her favorite person in the whole wide world, she's decided that you're going to go in here first. <laughs> Thanks. How do you feel about it? I hate roaches. You hate roaches? Oh, I hate roaches. You know what? Roaches love you. They're like that 
big. They're not like regular roaches. They're uh, giant Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They're the size of cell phones. I don't know, but if I get to pick the order tomorrow, I know who's going in first. Oh, really? Would that be Jennifer? Maybe. Your, your secret weapon, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get in your shorts and do this. I got some earplugs for you so they don't eat your brain. Come on, weapon. <laughs> oh. How creepy is it lying on this morgue slab? This is creepy. I don't care about the morgue. You don't care about the morgue? How tough are you? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't freak you out? That'll freak me out. Okay, there's the lock. Right in front of you. See it? Okay, bring in the bugs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it stinks. Oh. How do you feel, Laura? They're biting me. cold and dark in there. Enjoy it. Here we go. You wanted to be on TV? Here's your shot. <laughs> Here we go, Laura. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go! It is pitch black in there. She can't see a thing. Does it creep you out? These should be bodies in there. God. That's kind of gross, right? Push your stuff out. Time. That's it. Jump. Jump. You got any down your pants? Just jump. <laughs> Don't get those on me. Jump. Jump. Oh, it's you. Jump hard. Talk to me. How was it? I could hear that guy going. <laughs> Bugs were all over me. There was brooches inside my shorts, just trying to burrow and eat you alive. Just thinking about something burrowing in there. Oh God! You did it in one minute, ten point nine seconds. Yeah, I know. Think that's enough? No, probably not. Jennifer, who's going to go next? Um, I'll keep it in the order, so... Jocelyn? Jocelyn. Jocelyn, how are you feeling? Not so good about this one. Not so good? No. Do you got a problem with bugs? Yes. You ready? Yeah. You sure? No. No? All right, bring in the bugs. There we go. <laughs> All right, Jocelyn, I'm going to put you in there now. Good luck. All right, Jocelyn, are you ready? Yeah. Go! Push yourself out. Time. Forty-four point 
two seconds. Ooh, wow, that's quick. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> How was it? Not fun. Not fun? <laughs> no. No? I've had dreams about that, and I woke up on the floor, and uh, I just wanted to get out. Jennifer, who's going next? Um, I'm going to keep the same order as the other day. Yeah? And i got to get this over with. It's driving me crazy watching So people. you? You're next? Yeah. How's that cold metal feel? It's freezing. Oh. That feels better than the bug. Okay. Okay, bring in the bugs. It's party time. We got crickets, stink beetles, red worms, super worms. And Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Yummy, yum, yum. Oh my god, How's that feel? Oh. How's that feel? Ow! Oh, I'm going in the shorts. Yeah. Mm. They are going in the shorts. Don't touch anything until I say go. You got it? Yes. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! How dark is it in there? It's very dark. You can't see anything. Is it freaky? And the smell is horrible. And it's very freaky. All you feel is bugs, things crawling all over you, hearing noises. seconds. <laughs> Jocelyn still has the best time. Congrats. One minute, Jennifer, come on! Maybe she shouldn't have picked herself to go. Maybe all the superstitious stuff is uh, playing against her right here. Well, congratulations, welcome to the next round. Yeah. <laughs> Been in there a while now. This might be your last little moment up here, in fact, you're right here. No, it can't be. It can't Unless Kimberly screws up royally, it's doomed. You got a crooked in your hair. Don't move. Thank you. Come on down, Kimberly. All right. You nervous about this? Actually, I am surprisingly not nervous. Really? Yeah. Why so calm? I don't know. I'm very claustrophobic. Uh, I hate the dark, afraid of the dark, but I'm not afraid of bugs at all. Really? Yeah. Well, you know what you have to do. Yep, ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get you in your shorts. Okay. All right, bring on the Madagascar hissing cockroaches, the stink beetles, the red worms, the super worms. Wait, you hear them hissing? Ew. <laughs> They don't taste so good. No. Uh, you're not supposed to eat them. Oh. Right. Here we go. All right, Kimberly. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Yeah. 
question. Come on, you're already looking it's down at yourself. A, a lot of time's going by right here. You got any mojo in you? If you know any voodoo, now's the time to bust it out. Jocelyn, you'll definitely be picking the order tomorrow. Congrats. She got the zipper. She got the zipper. Oh, this is so close. Come on. Time. Uh, oh. It's very, very close. You guys are like neck and neck. Come on out. She doesn't even care. You know, she's not even freaking you out. Get them off. They don't bother me. I'm pissed about time. How about this? You pissed about that? No. <laughs> The time to beat was 135.7 seconds. Gosh. You got the lock off in time. But you fiddled with the zipper a bit too long. Your time was 140. <laughs> Jennifer, congratulations. Can't believe I'm very sorry. Good job. Good job. Hugger, she's got roaches. I wish I could have eaten the bugs uh, instead. <laughs> Sorry. I'm frustrated. I'm pissed. Uh, mainly because I know that I could do it. I have the ability to do it. I don't necessarily want a second chance. I just wish that I had gotten it on my first chance. We thought it was over for you. Look at you. How are you feeling now? I'm stoked. I'm Congrats. Oh, so Thank close. You. Jocelyn, congratulations. You got the best time. Yeah. 44.2 seconds. You get to pick tomorrow's order. Now let's get you guys cleaned up and see what tomorrow has in store for you. Perfect. spent the money. It's been my plan to win since I knew that I was going to be on Fear Factor. I'm just ready to go and get it. I always saw myself being in the finals because I think that I'm a very strong person and I have a strong mind and I wouldn't have gone on the show unless I thought I was going to win. I'm pretty confident today about the last stunt, but you just never know what's going to happen. You never know. So what's up? Hey. How you guys feeling? All right. Excited? Yeah. How's the bug bites? Oh, bad. Got a lot? Yeah. Who's got it? Oh, yo. Nasty. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh, I think Laura wins. It's pretty close. Jocelyn and Laura, it's pretty close, but I think Laura, Laura wins it. Yeah, you're going to need $50,000 to buy ointment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here is your final stunt.
You got the best time yesterday, so you get to pick today's order. Who's going first? Jennifer. Jennifer. I knew it. I knew it. You ready to get this over with? All right, come with me. Let's go. All right. Jennifer, this is it. You excited? I am very excited. It's a big moment, huh? It is. Come on, you yeah. got through a lot of crap to get here. I know. This is it. This is your last shot. This all is right. It. You get through this, you do it the fastest, you win fifty thousand dollars. That's awesome. it. Go out there, set the bar high, rock and roll. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. It's getting kind of chilly, so we got you ladies some jackets. Oh, thank you so much. This is it. How's Jennifer going to do? I don't know. I hope she falls off. You hope she falls off? How <laughs> dare you? I thought you were friends. I thought you loved her. Yeah, but, I mean, come on. All right, she's heading over the beam. Here we go. Time starts when your feet leave the dock. Time stops when you touch the buoy. And remember, flag count trumps all. All right. So the more flags, the better. You want to go next and just try to top no. that right away? No. Laura's next. Laura's All next. Right. I'm ready. You gonna be able to pull yourself up? Yeah. You're tiny, right? You're really light. You have an advantage in this, don't you think? Yeah. You're able to so. move quick. I'm just like gonna lightning. pretend I'm a monkey. You the weapon. 141.3. You beat that. Jennifer goes home. You just have to worry about Jocelyn. Okay. Come on, sister. Come on. All right, it's secret weapon time. This is it. This is a good stunt for you, huh? Yeah. You need all eight flags, and you just got to get through that water like a fish. Because Jennifer got all of them. All right, she didn't leave you any room. She got yeah. a fast time, but you can make up a lot of time in the water. You know you can swim faster than her. You're the weapon. You're the secret weapon. All right, Laura, good luck. Thanks. You're welcome. Good night, Marissa. Yeah, I'm nervous. Are you? And I'm not looking forward to it, but you know what? Huh. Is this what I got to do to get the 50000 This is what I'm going to do. Laura, she kind of has no muscle tone, I know. so I'm kind of... I was thinking about that. Thinking yeah. maybe, maybe hopefully she won't be able to get her feet up, or maybe she won't last that long on the rope. All right, here comes the helicopter.
me and you. If I had more upper body strength, it would have definitely been a different game because I would have been able to just pull myself up right away, not even thinking about it. It's better to win for sure. I mean, you get the money, but if I had the money, I wouldn't know what to do with it, honestly. Come on, kid. You know ready. it's all you. I'm ready. You're rough, tough. You're in the Air Force. You're a mommy. You've taken... She can't handle that. I'm going to make her cry. She's never had a baby. Yeah. She doesn't know what it's like. Exactly. She doesn't know how tough you are. Think about the car. You and your husband are sharing a car right now. Think about your daughter, little daughter at home. You need pampers. Uh -huh. Maybe needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. I'm ready. 141.3. You can do it, Jocelyn. Yes, I it's can. It's all in your hands. It's up to you. All Good right. luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Back to the action. All Here right. comes the helicopter. Judge Winston. Jocelyn's time to beat is your time of one. Tracy Morgan of Scare Tactics. I've got big news. Stuff's about to get a lot crazier. Oh my God. Hilarious. That was rough. Damn. Scare Tactics. Back to back episodes tomorrow starting at 7 on Schiller. <laughs>